Hey guys, for those of you who've been watching lockpicking videos for a while, you probably remember uh, Jim Elwood, otherwise known as uh, J.D. Jojo Dush, showing this lock off. And I think everyone started referring to this as the Gate 1 lock. It's a Kaba, and it's got Gate 1 on the back. So hence the name Gate 1 lock. Jim sent this to me a couple of months ago, maybe even more than that, and I've been struggling, struggling with this thing. Um, I have not gotten it open, and Jim didn't get it open either. There's, it is a, a Caba core, as you can imagine. It is not a Quattro core. It is not a Caba 8 core. There are four pins on the left, and then offset there are four pins on the right. And then down below, you can also see another four pins on the right. Those are not evenly spaced, stretched out, obviously, from front to rear. So I believe there's a total of 12 pins in this thing. I don't know which one it is, but after hours and hours, I even made some tools I wasn't able to get into this thing. So desperate, I turned to the Internet. Now, what did I find? Well, I went to a couple of websites, one of them, DHgate, and two or three others, and they all offer pretty much this same tool. I'm not going to try to pronounce this. This is the view they give when they show you the picture of this kit. So if you search for CABA lockpick on any of those sites, this is one of the things that turns up. So I took a chance and I bought it. It was $34 plus $8 shipping. So $42 bucks delivered to my door, and I didn't know what I was going to get other than a nylon case. And for once in my life, I am not disappointed in this DHK. Let me arrange the camera just a bit here so it's not quite as obscured. Now, Pretty good quality locks. It, we, let's just begin on the left and I'll use this to describe the quality to begin with. First of all we have two dimple picks and these are not curved, they're just kind of rounded on one side. One's on the left and one's on the right. So I suppose they would work for flags. Uh, this is pretty good quality steel. This is also, the handle is made from steel and these are press fit in. It's very, very tight. I haven't been able to pull any of them out or take any of them apart. Anodized steel handle and then the cross hatching is very well done. It's a pretty good quality tool. So we got a couple of, uh, couple of flags that come in this kit. And then I don't even know what these are called. We're going to call these saw blades. So we have uh, very heavily toothed. We have one with three, then one with two. These I've seen people use these on Cabo locks. These also are a type of saw blade, and I'm just going to pull one of them out. There are three of them, all with different bits. They are angled so that when you put this into the keyway, you make sure that it stays up against one side of the wall by pushing the other against the other side of the wall. So it has to be a perfect fit, and then you can saw left the right side, and then I suppose the left side by using the right guide. Put that back in there. <clears throat> Another interesting tool, again, I've seen these used on cabal locks. There's one for the left side and one for the right side. It's kind of a spring-loaded little clip. So again, you guide it down the right side. This would be for the right side. You guide it down the right side, applying pretty heavy pressure, raking it inside and out, and uh, there's a, supposedly enough give in this thing to where it won't overset the pins. Uh, hasn't worked for me yet, but uh, that's, that's the plan anyway. The things I really like about this kit is they give you some pretty good rakes. And you can use these for dimple, any kind of dimple locks, not just cabas. You got one here. This looks like a washboard. Very well executed. Real, just a really good quality tool. I'm very surprised. And then we have these two others. You guys have seen something similar to these in the Klum kits. These are really effective for opening up dimple locks. I, I really like these. I may try to slim these down a bit to get in some tighter keyways. These, these knobs on the edges are not necessary, but uh, these work really well. I'm very happy with this. And then there's another one here that you only usually see on leashy type car door locks. This also is for dimple lock. Come on, focus. And it is a very light spring tension. It's cut out in the center. Come on, focus, baby. I'll try to turn it this way. So, come on, focus. Do me a favor here. There we go. It's cut out all along the center, so the pressure to pull to push the pins is very light from that from that tip. It has a lot of give in this one, much more so than these other two. But uh, these also can be very useful for picking cabas. But unfortunately, I haven't had a lot of time to play with this one yet. But it has not opened that caba for me just yet. And then the last two are just standard dimple picks. These come on pretty much all the kits. Uh, the double cider, which I've never had an opportunity to use, but I guess in China they're very useful. And then the hand pick, 
uh, one-sided. Again, it's kind of large, but it would it does fit into some of the um, uh, multi-locks, which kind of surprised me. It is a curved, a curved flag. Anyway, get fellas, I just had to show you. This is a, I'm pretty excited. For once, we got some decent quality coming out of a Chinese company. Forty-two bucks. Even if I only got say these four rakes, to me personally, I think it would be worth the money. The rest of these would be like a bonus, and that, and that's the way I'm considering it. So anyway, there you go. If you want to get one of these things, there's the name again. Good luck. Everybody stay safe. Stay legal. You don't subscribe to Bosley and Bill's channel? For Christ's sake, you're here already. Just go down there. Show them a little love. Click the freaking subscribe button. Otherwise, oh, what's that? What is that? Oh, look at that. It's in your face. Hmm. You should perhaps go down. Not perhaps. Get the hell down there and subscribe to Bosley and Bill's channel. Do it now.